Meet the Graviners, everybody's favorite dysfunctional family, starring Ellen and Damien and Tallulah's Tiara as Tallulah's Tiara. This episode, nothing much. Well, else. welcome back here to Meet the Graviners, where, as you can see, the lovely Tallulah has been returned. Presumably, she's being probed for everything she knows about the science and uh, powers behind tiaras and yes been found wanting and I think you know what I think we got a shot there really haven't we one there let's just see if I can get everything in like that Yep. I think it says just about everything, really, doesn't it? The look on her face there. Her thoughts. Yeah. Okay, all right, let's, uh, let's, uh, get on with this. Our young superstar here is, uh, cool. Our young superstar here is, is actually, this is, Feeling that the controls have reset, but that wouldn't surprise me. I mean, this is the EA Games product. They every now and again they seem to decide, oh, you didn't really want those settings. I'm going to reset them. So, you know, I'm going to turn the music up to full, which is going to be great because you're wearing earphones and it's going to melt your eardrums. But I'm not going to tell you I'm doing it. So anyway, right, Tula, let's have a chat with Exugo Yoth and let's give him a friendly introduction. See what he thinks about stuff. Mm, she doesn't like that idea, and he's right out of here. Perhaps he's heard about Damien. I don't know. Uh, post there. No. Actually, why don't, you, why don't you donate a little bit of money? Donate a uh, donate to Plant a Money Tree Foundation. There we go. And uh, donate hundred. We don't have much money. I've redecorated everything after that. Oh, actually, while they're here, uh, clean that up. And I can sell the thing. Yep, he's out of here. He's gone, man, like solid gone. All right. That's left her happy. That cheer her up a little bit. She's not had a good day as young Chaluda S. She man basically she was prom keen, but she was forced to wear that jumper, which was you know fairly terrible. Cleaned up, nice job there. Nice job there. Why don't you go and go and get some sleep? Because Well actually you've probably got a school day tomorrow, which is kind of ironic because you haven't actually gone to school through your entire teenage life except to go to prom. Hmm. Stuck aging check, champ ward. Okay. Alright, so you go back to sleep. I'm going to sell this thing off because we don't need it anymore. There we go. Another 282 simoleons. This gives a little bit more cash. And actually, looking at this place, we should probably buy an oven. So let's do that now. Okay, so what can we get? Um. Cowpoke stove, grandmother's cooktop. Uh, yeah, let's have a cowpoke stove. I think it kind of goes with the rest of the decor there a little bit, really, doesn't it? Ah, oh, I like that. Right, that will do. Okay, and we'll get someone to fix that uh, stuck tap in the morning. Pull the walls down there. There's Got rid of the Christmas decor, repurchased a couple of and things, updated, upgraded their TV and the sofa. Uh, it's pretty much all I did. Well, actually, that's a lie. I bought this as well. So you know, it's just, it's non functional, it's just view. But I thought, you know, Damon needs some clothes somewhere. I mean, Tallulah's got her chest of drawers, as does uh, Ellen. So, yeah, only fair. Right, I think. 
It's time. These guys will be up fairly soon. Actually, here comes Ellen. Here's Ellen! So, I think well, the first thing I need you to do is repair this. <laughs> and the maid will clear up, so don't worry about that. And then have a quick meal. Uh, have some bread and jam, why don't you? There we go. Uh, okay, and uh, would you have to go to work today? You have to go to work today, but not for a while. What is the time? Oh, it's 4.30 in the morning. That would explain a lot really, wouldn't it? So, there we go. Have something to eat, and why don't you practice breaking some blocks for a bit? Uh, also would was Well done, Ellen, for fixing that. That's great. And here's Damien. Damien, have a quick shower. And then eat some leftovers. Have some leftover pancakes, because their leftover pancakes taste great, don't they? Okay, and... I think today we're going to concentrate on you a little bit, my friend. I think it's time that we got you a little bit closer to your ambition. So, as soon as this is a decent time, and it looks like if you actually do turn up at work today, you, you will actually get promoted, which is great. So, I think it's time for you to start getting to know people a little bit better. So... Let's let the world tick on a little bit. It'd be very nice to get some money in and start doing this house up a little bit. I mean, it's got so much potential. The only thing I don't like about it is this blooming great hill on the other side of it, which makes it so hard to get the camera angle right. Like that. Go on, Ellen. You can do it. You can do it. So, eat that. And... Let's get you... Okay, let's get you talking, doing that, and then afterwards I think we will... Ooh, loads of points there. Uh. Cool, Hui Young Kim. Actually, you could do that. Plan an outfit. Mm. Yeah, let's promise you that one. Yep, yeah, I understand that. Ooh, 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 I've just remembered something. Let's go to the family inventory here a sec. Somebody got a broken object. Go, Damien. Somebody got a sea swell glass vase, which we should just drop in the middle here, I think. Let's just get a better look at it. Oh, it's a big glass. It won't go there. It'll go on the floor. So let's just pop it by the TV there. Hmm. Okay, I've got to be honest with you. I don't like that at all. Let's sell the thing. Okay, but... Oh, joy. It's one of those sort of things. We'll never get rid of that. But let's get this this table out because Ellen often wants to play chess but uh, she's never had a chess board so we'll pop that just pop that in the middle here for a sec and we'll give this a couple of these chairs because there's a family of three they don't need six chairs might move that later on I'll think about it later but uh, that will do for now there we go Okay, Damien, what are you up to? Right, need you to share cooking tips. If you can't do that, if you're too busy thinking about love, you're too busy thinking about love, aren't you? Love and how this place is a mess. What's the time? 6.43. Let's risk phoning up a couple of people. In fact, when do you go to work? You go to work in seven hours. Okay, so not Delicia, I think. Um, Daisy. 
Let's invite her out. I know it's a bit early in the morning, but let's let's see if we can work on the relationship a little bit. And preferably, let's invite her out to somewhere with an elevator. Uh, elevator. You know the reason why, don't you? But he's off. He's no longer mentally vapor locked, staring at the sink, thinking somebody should clean this. You know, somebody should clean this, but not me. It's yes. Lula, the girl who will never be educated. Mm. Right. How you doing? What's your skill? What's your martial arts skill like? Yeah, you, you, you are getting close to being tough, really, aren't you? You're a tough, tough, tough person. Tallulah, sleeping the morning away like somebody who's been out all night, perhaps being probed by aliens should do. Okay, alright. Yes, I love how the way the subway system makes everything go faster. I really do. Actually, um, here's a thought. I don't particularly like this map, I've got to be honest with you, so if anyone can think of a, a good free or very cheap map that these guys might wear on, well, it's going to need to have a movie lot, but I suppose I can add one. Uh, do suggest. I won't, um, I'll have a look at what you suggest, and if something does jump up and down and say, hey, use me, what are you doing? Um, I will perhaps move the guys, because they don't know many people, and I'll possibly move them as well, I don't know. We'll think, I'll think about it, just a thought, just a thought. Is that who I think it is? That... No, that's not who I think it is. And quite why they haven't froze to death. I do not know. But... Amazingly, they haven't. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Alright, off you go. Ooh. Somebody's enjoying the new telly. How are you doing? Actually, you're in pretty good shape, really, aren't you? You get your fun up for a little bit. There we go. And we shall follow Damien. And he continues on his, his merry and very interesting way to talk to someone about cooking tips gosh it don't get much better than this does it the conversation between you and barry tenderlove was full of great tips and cooking secrets it's a shame the local cooking channel wasn't recording for broadcast head home to prepare something delicious with your improved Cooking abilities, and take it—that's not actually part of the challenge. Uh, that's that one, isn't it? No, it's not. Right. Let's get you on a date with Daisy Swizzle if we can. I'm trying to think, just think of somewhere. Full sports zone. Do we want to be that sophisticated? So, let's go to the art gallery and we'll take it from there. Because, let's face it, he's never going to get his dream if he, if he doesn't keep up, if he doesn't actually talk to someone without scaring him away, really, is he? Glamis a genius. Mm -hmm. Right, how are these guys doing? Uh, what is the time? Plenty of time for you yet. Yeah, you know, school day, so you might as well just sit in your pants on the sofa and just enjoy the day. You'll be alright for a bit. Get your fun up watching the telly. And try not to breathe too heavily when your Aunt Ellen walks past, I should imagine. I can't say I blame you either. Here we are, after the sophisticated uh, 
highly refined uh, atmosphere of the, the art gallery. <laughs> Damien, <laughs> underneath that parker, is wearing a dinner jacket. Just what you need to be wearing at half past nine in the morning, really, isn't it? Especially if you are convinced that you are the reincarnation of James Bond with blue skin and purple hair. I think that's one that um, Cubby Broccoli missed, to be totally honest with you. The whole... Yeah, you know, I think James Bond would be very interesting with blue skin and purple hair. Hmm. Nice. Perhaps we should make a suggestion. Nice. Daniel Craig needs lots of makeup. Alright, now, is your dirt going to actually turn up this time? Or is she going to be sensible? Okay, alright. You made it there. Has anyone else made it there? Mm. It doesn't look so at the moment. And you just go in. Well, this is a good opportunity to go to the little Damien's room, really, isn't it? That's that. What's the one you want? So there we go. Go and have a go and have a little tinker. Yeah, go and have a little tinker. And we'll see if Daisy actually turns up. Which we won't if there's a blooming great building in the way. Is that her? Is that her? No. Or at least... No, it's not. Unless, of course, she's invisible, which is entirely possible. This is The Sims, after all. Hmm. Right, I. She's either absent minded or very, very sensible, one or the other. Let's try inviting her over again. And that one. No. Mm, no, okay, well, he, he. Quite likes the look of her. Oh, who's this? Who is this? Lola Bell. Okay. You look interesting. I think you need to be Damien, to be totally honest with you. Let's let you get indoors. And Damien, of course, has picked the most tasteful thing in the art gallery to view. Straight off the bat. Good on you. Okay, let's... Let's see if we can get to know her a little bit better. <laughs> oh, good lord. Oh, good grief. Yeah. Okay. Are you going to be able to do this? <laughs> ah, it's not a good start, is it? Technophobe, ambitious, loner. <laughs> I think what it, you've got what it takes to impress me. <laughs> Lola, my dear Lola. You're so right. You're so very, very right. Try to impress celebrity. Talk about occupation in film. Let's see. I mean, this can only go, this can only end badly, but we've got an hour. <laughs> yeah, that went about as well as I thought it would. What are they talking about? Uh, okay, right. Give up and okay so Daisy didn't turn up I only have a chat with Kirby who you met at your at Ellen's birthday party so just phone her up and have a chat and then you can go to work you have no chance there David no chance whatsoever and oh they're talking they're actually talking uh, they're not talking very well. 
talk about books. I don't quite know what she's saying, but she's enthusiastic about it regardless. Gurky <laughs> bug, indeed. When you gotta go to work. You gotta go to work in two hours, you're alright for a little bit. So let's encourage this. Let's encourage a bit of a conversation here. Friendly. Uh, share secret. Friendly. Discuss favourite TV shows. Friendly. Gossip. Friendly. Nope, oh, yeah, that one. Friendly. Um, but a bit of a bright and day. Friendly. Admire handiness skill. You. You're so, so useful, Auntie Ellen. Friendly. Debate politics and friendly. No, that's probably enough, actually, isn't it? Actually, thinking about it, let's get this guy out of the way first. As I don't know how that would react. Where are you going? Now, you can have a little conversation first. In fact, I think we'll end that with <laughs> friendly. Go to bed. Go to bed, young lady. Did you know that Jupiter Bell is filthy witch? I would never have kissed. And I think I'd like some of it as well. Where's the car? Oh right. Just go to work at the end of that. There we go. All right. Flopsy mm -hmm. Madola. Where are you? Oh, you're working. Uh, you're working, are you? Uh, how is your career going? Yeah. I'd like you to work hard, but it's just not what Ed, uh, Damien does, really, is it? Uh, Compliment the director. Oh, and there's the lovely Delicia Hoover. Cackling. How dare Lenny Shutter have a... I mean, good lord, how, how could he have a, a party tonight? Go to work. You're going to work. Uh, and you're such an ur urgent hurry to get to work, you decided to run, did you? Okay, good man. And uh, how are you doing, job wise, actually? Yeah, you've just got promoted, haven't you? And uh, you need to start hitting people for funding. It's a good thing that your cousin, your, your brother, rather, knows all these uh, famous people. And how are we doing? Yeah, we're getting some sleep now, that's good. Okay, let's run forward to the end of the day, shall we? Right, Lenny's, um, Ellen has just uh, received an invitation to Lenny's party. The other one thing she was so shocked about earlier on. So I think... Uh, actually, I think that we should attend that one, to be totally honest with you. Oh, yes. You, for some reason, you can't view a party invitation while paused, because, you know, that would just you know, cause the universe to implode or something like that. I'm going to be there. Okay. Um, can to have a party, Ellen? Yeah, okay, there we go. Right. Okay. And the state of the city. The mayor is getting ready to present the state of the city address and wants to make sure it goes off without a hitch. Being a successful filmmaker, you've been asked to run the production down at public services office. Head down there and make sure the mayor's address is perfect. Oh dear lord. The city is doomed. Right, get up. Have something to eat. E yeah, have, have a cake slice. There we go. Nice healthy deal. Yeah, none of the adults are around, so you might as well indulge yourself. And then afterwards, you can have a quick shower. 
and to be totally honest with you, that's probably enough to keep you going through the day, isn't it? So, why don't you go have a chat with your boyfriend? So, if you would chat and oh, honestly, send him a love letter as well. There we go. Right, and Dam uh, hey, Damien is. Are you done? All right, I want you to give that class because that would be good for you. And Damien, as soon as you've finished, let's try this whole dating thing again, shall we? Ellen's left work. 310 simoleons today. Actually, Damien, how are you doing work wise? I do not believe it. Look how close he is to getting a, a promotion. I do not believe you. Who's this? Ah, oh, Emmy Star is running away from you. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Right. I will think it's time for you to start. Let's let's see if we can broaden your horizons a little bit. So doing all right with Delicia. I'm going to be honest with you, Daisy doesn't seem to actually be working for you. It might be worth going around to her house. But you'll probably find out that her husband will object to that. Whoops. Let's see if we can find Daisy Swizzle's house, actually. Seem to recall it was somewhere in the city. And that you went to it while ghost hunting, if I remember right. Not that one. Uh, okay. Is it over here? Old and new glam, good lord. No, okay, I can't be bothered to I can't be bothered to find it too hard, so um right, okay, we're gonna give her a chat and then we're going to invite out and see what we get with that. There's your friend. Okay. Right. That's Toluda doing. Much better by looks things. Yeah, of course, become good friends with Jupiter. I think that's probably going to happen. Okay, right. Let's choose somewhere simple. Let's go here. Let's see if she'll actually turn up. Sure, that sounds like fun. Let's meet there. Excellent. Let's see how many different forms of transport he can use to go around the corner. Oh, just the one. I'm surprised, actually. Okay. So, where is your, your lovely date? Um, not here yet, well, looks of it. So, let's find something for you to do, shall we? Alright, so, actually, let's pause that for a sec. Winter Vittles concession. Same there. We've got ski route we've got Tallulah's little uh, we've got Tallulah's little uh, what's it there a little let's go skiing I igloo that's the word I was desperately searching for there igloo I think I put that there actually okay. Okay, so, right. Damien's got all the natural grace and poise required to do this. 
<laughs> What's happened here? Attend party. There you go. As soon as the spas gushed, how effective your relaxation methods were. So, oh, we've got some much needed money there. That's excellent. Means I can do a little bit of a redecoration between episodes. Where is your date? Why is it you have this effect on people, Damien? Ah. Hmm. Oh, people. Hopefully they're the people we're looking for. If they're not, they're just about to get damien Where's the other person? I could have sworn I saw two people. There we go, there's the other person. There's another person. Who's that? Ah, there we go. And there's your date. Excellent. So we'll have a little chat. And let's get to know her a little bit better. Decided to meet in the middle, have they? Oh, you know, Damien was really just staring, staring into spaces, you know, instead of being Damien. Right. Good stuff. Okay, let's get to know her a bit better. So. Actually, let's form a group first so she doesn't run away. And then. Friendly. Uh, compliment her on a technology degree. Friendly. Ask about Alma Martin. Data. Friendly. Compliment cleverness. And. Let's find out some bits and pieces about you here. Are you single? Are you... What's your sign? And then perhaps we'll start flirting with her a little bit and she doesn't run away. It'll always be a good sign. Oh dear. Okay, so... She's not running away, but she refuses to form a group. He's Rack. Charlie Ann. Mm -hmm. uh, Smugsworth Prep. Mm -hmm, okay. Orfus. Hello, Nerb. Seal thou voda. Do. Chila. Mushakal. Partner. Partner. Ah, Kirby is single. Way. Hey. Alright, he's about to starve to death and pass out, so we're going to have to move him for the kill here. Romantic. Flirt. Flirt. Okay, right, I think what we'll do is we'll is see, see if we can get her relationship up, because you know what, she's actually turned up for a date, which is fairly impressive, you've got to be honest here. Okay, so, flirt... Um, romantic, flirtatious joke, romantic, let's do the world famous heat of the moment kiss, romantic, rub face in agony, compliment personality, because every girl likes to be told they have a wonderful personality. Uh, uh, mm. oh. oh, oh, he shoots, he misses. So. Okay, so friendly. Grovel, Damien, grovel. Friend. Okay, let's let's see what that does. Nork. Norkle bleeps. Kubi wriggle snork. Okay, right. Let's stick with friendly for a little bit. Actually, actually, let's do some funny. So. Tell a funny story. Friendly. I'll just tell a joke, actually, to be honest with you. And friendly. Come on, friendly. There we go. Friendly. Chat. And we'll leave it there. Say goodbye. That wasn't bad. 
full of this glarn. And tomorrow Maybe is Saturday, oh and God. I think in the yeah, next episode, mind. we're just yeah. going to invite her out somewhere after she's had some sleep. We'll go out sort of mid morning rather than one o'clock at night and take her out, wine her, dine her, and then find somewhere with an elevator and get to our next step. I'm oh, sorry. Follow the path of romance, most fine. Uh, okay, so buy food from a concession stand. No, go home and cook something better. There we go. Right, I think we're going to leave it there. Damien has actually got to talk to a girl without them running away, which, let's face it, is a distinct improvement for her. For, well, for him, it's probably something terrifying for her. And... In the next episode, let's see if we can actually get him into a date and uh, yeah, um, move on to 40% of his lifetime ambition. Ellen, how are you up to? You are, oh, you're asleep. That's good of you. Okay, and lovely to Luna is asleep. So let's get you sorted out. And you have breakfast? No. Eat leftovers, have some pancakes, and then off to bed with you. And we'll pick up in the morning, and we'll pick up next episode. So, until then, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Meet the Grabbiners. Tallulah is showing off a rebellious side. There is a prank. Thank you, and good night.